This is a video of how to do page 20 in your purple book. If you turn there, you also need your yellow duple cards with rests. It has a yellow strip on the side. And <laughs> believe it or not, I thought I was doing a video a few minutes ago, but it happened to be just a picture. So I've already got my things drawn on here. I'm just going to redraw them so you see how to do it. You're going to take card two, and you can either lay it right there, or you can draw it right here. So you've got do, do day, do, shh, quarter rest, do, do, rest, do. Then you're going to come down, and the very first measure is going to be one chord. They drew the first one for you, so there's your first do. Then you're going to need a do day next, so you're going to draw that chord twice. So you've got do, mi, so, one chord, do, mi, so, one chord. And then you're going to make them into a do day, so you're going to connect those two together with a bar. So now you have do, do day. You're going to need one more do. Do, mi, so, one chord. Now you have do, do, day, do, 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 day, do. And then you need to draw your quarter rest. Zig, zag, zig, C. Now you're ready for your second measure. Your second measure is in 5, 7. So they've drawn the first chord for you. You see here you've got T. Fa, so, five, seven. You'll notice the fa is on the other side of the stem because since the so and fa are right next to each other, if you tried to draw it here, it's just going to look really messy and you won't be able to read it. So that's why it's on the other side of the stem. So you've got your first do in five, seven. Now you need to draw another do in five, seven. So you're going to draw T, fa, so, stem down the middle. 5, 7, do. And then you're going to draw your quarter rest. Zig, zag, zig, C. Then you're going to need one more do in 5, 7. T, fa, so. And that's how you do page 20. If you go on to page 21, it's very similar, except you're going to need card 3. You can put card here, 3 there, or you can draw it. It says do day sh, do sh, do day sh, do, half don't do. So you're going to come down here. The first measure is going to be all 5-7. So you can look back at your other page, how to make your 5-7. And you're going to write do day sh, do sh. So you'll draw two 5-7 chords, connect them, quarter rest, one five seven chord do and quarter rest. The next measure is a one chord. So you can go back to look at how you did your one chord on the other page. You're gonna go do mi so one chord. You're gonna need two of those, do mi so one chord. Connect them together so it says do day. Quarter rest. And then the last one, make sure when you make your last one that you make them half notes. I'll just show you how I did it. Do mi so one chord, don't color those in. They need to be half notes. And that's how you do page 21. When you have both pages done, it says to play the chord progression as you've written it on these two pages. So you're going to play. Do, do, day, do, sh, do, do, sh, do. And then on the next page, you've got five sevens again. Do, day, sh. Do, sh, one chord, do, day, sh, do. Oh, I didn't sing those in pitch, but that gives you the idea of what you're going to do when you play the rhythm that you have written. So you'll be playing across the bottom here and then here and then ending.